Understanding Discharge, Post-Ovulation versus Pregnancy. Hello and welcome everyone. Today, we're going to be discussing a topic that often comes up when discussing reproductive health, vaginal discharge. More specifically, we'll be comparing the differences in discharge appearance between the post-ovulation phase and during early pregnancy. What is vaginal discharge? Vaginal discharge is a normal part of the menstrual cycle. It's essentially a mix of cervical mucus and vaginal secretions that can change in color, consistency, and volume at different times throughout your cycle. The changes in vaginal discharge are often a good indicator of where you are in your menstrual cycle and can also sometimes signal pregnancy. What does post-ovulation discharge look like? After ovulation, which generally occurs in the middle of your menstrual cycle, the discharge can change in appearance. This is due to hormonal fluctuations, specifically the rise in progesterone levels. The discharge often becomes less clear and more creamy or sticky in texture. It may also be white or light yellow in color. How does pregnancy-related discharge appear? In early pregnancy, the discharge can be quite similar to the post-ovulation discharge, but with a few distinct differences. During the early stages of pregnancy, many women experience what is known as leucorrhea. This is a type of discharge that is typically thin, white, milky, and mild-smelling. It is slightly different from the post-ovulation discharge in that it is usually more abundant and consistent. This increased discharge is due to elevated levels of estrogen and increased blood flow to the vaginal area during pregnancy. How can I tell the difference? The key difference between the two types of discharge is primarily in the consistency and volume. Post-ovulation discharge is typically less in volume and can become sticky or creamy, whereas pregnancy-related discharge tends to be more abundant and maintains a thin, milky consistency. However, these signs can be subtle, and many women may not notice a difference. It's also worth noting that every woman's body is unique, and these descriptions may not apply to everyone. If you suspect you might be pregnant, the most reliable method to confirm it is through a pregnancy test. If you have concerns about your discharge or if you notice a significant change, it's always a good idea to consult a healthcare provider. And that brings us to the end of our discussion today. We hope this video has helped you understand the differences between post-ovulation discharge and pregnancy-related discharge. Remember, vaginal discharge is a normal part of the menstrual cycle and can vary greatly between individuals. If you ever have any concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional. Thanks for watching and take care.